How you doing guys? This is Joss from King on DTF. Welcome one more time to the channel. If this is your first time stopping by, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and also click the bell notification so that way you know when we got new videos out there. So today, today guys, we're talking about a little bit of cleaning solution. So many people have been asking us about the different cleaning solution and the colors and all that kind of stuff and also our kit so the kit that we sell on our website is have cleaning solution it got syringes cotton swab and i got tubing and apart from that you can get from our website you can get also more cleaning solution that this one is one of the regular cleaning solution that you can use uh, daily um, is just regular cleaning solution and it's going to help you to unclog your print head but some type uh, some type of clogs we know that are more hard than others so for, for that reason we also have our cleaning solution that is more strong for that type of clogs and also when you combine a little bit this uh, cleaning solution with heat it's going to be more effective and of course we got our capi station that you use on a daily basis that you're going to uh, do a wet capi station when you finish printing during the day or during the night depending where you're at um, this is the solution that you want to use to wet your capi station and then your print is going to rest on top of that and this is going to help to eliminate any clogs or any dirt on underneath of the print heads. So that's why people is confused sometimes because they see different solutions and they see different uh, colors and even uh, on the market there's cleaning solution that is just clear that you think you anyone can think is just water but it's not. So cleaning solution are not made the same way so there are different type of uh, manufacturers that made good cleaning solution other regular solution and stuff like that if the cleaning solution are going to work all of them yes they're going to work all of them the only thing that is that some type of cleaning solution are better than others so and you can you can see when a cleaning solution is good because it's going to help you to unclog or clean better your print head but it doesn't mean that other solution is not going to work some people don't re uh, rely in a cleaning solution and they prefer another methods like using different uh, type of liquid uh, that i'm not going to mention because um for me i mean it, it doesn't make sense to use a product that is for cleaning glasses to clean or, or damage a print head but some people do it um but if you go to the professionals any any business that is professional any print shop that is a professional and use high quality uh printers they're not going to be using that type of liquid that i just mentioned to clean glasses okay so they're going to be using a specific uh, cleaning solution that are made for Epson print heads or they're using uh, there's another one that we don't have right now but there's another one that the technician use that is like a is red and is high in viscosity and is to help the print head uh, to clean better when it's come to really really hard clogging or when it comes to repair a print head they use that type of uh, liquid uh, to be able to see where is damage and how to repair the the print heads okay but you know this is just a short uh, version of what i'm just talking about here uh, i just want to show you really quick about the kit and what you can get i mean you can get the kits for the cleaning solution or you can get just the solution separate you can get it in eight ounces. You can get the uh, a strong cleaning solution in four and eight ounces. And obviously, our cap extension is only in eight ounces because you're going to use more constantly on, uh, on a daily basis, like I mentioned before. So when we, so many people ask us how 
the tubing works on these syringes because it seems that they're not work right because seems the tubing is a little bit more uh, smaller than the tip of the syringe so if you take this one and you come here and it's going to look like oh the tip it doesn't work here but that's the point because you want and a small tubing that is going also to work with your uh, print head nozzle. So the nozzle is going to be right there. It's going to be really tight, really nice. And you want that because you don't want your, your tubing, you know, getting loose or something like that when you're trying to uh, do a flush or cleaning your print head. So for that reason, you take the tubing, right? And you put it as a sideway just a little bit and you start playing with that like make it around it go and do it around just use a little bit of force and you can see that you can put that tubing okay you can put it all the way down and you're going to have a syringe right there with the tubing so this over here is not going anywhere and once you insert this part over here into your, your nozzle it's going to be also grabbing that nozzle really good and it's not going anywhere okay so you use your clean solution and if you need to flush your head as uh, you can flush it uh, always remember when flushing the heads, you need to do it just carefully and just slow. Be patient when it comes to flush or clean print heads because if you use too much force on that nozzle, you can blow the nozzles inside and that's something that you're not going to see uh, right away. But you're going to know that you blow your nozzle when the print head start giving you problems or issues uh, because you do that. So when you put clean solution, uh, you can put maybe around one ml or maybe two ml to be honest. With that, you can start really slow. Um, you know, push to your head really slow. Again, without make doing it too hard or you know pushing it too hard or anything like that because you can damage your print head so that's a trick that not many people follow even they have heard you know before that don't flush too hard your print head they do it anyway and they end with a damaged print head okay so let me see if i got a print head uh with me so you can see how this is going to uh look over there and why why is this looks small but it's got to fit over there really really nice uh, with, with that okay so as you can see here this is a print head it's for the l1800 that we also sell a few on our website and the reason for this type of tip over here that you see many people be asking me like um Oh, it doesn't fit on the syringe, but you can see that it's fit. I already show you. And also because it fits right here to the nozzle. So when you get that and you just put it on the nozzle all the way in, you can see, I'm going to show you how secure is that. So it's really tight. I mean, if you pull, it's not going to come off. It's not going to come off that easy and that's the reason we use this type of tubing so it can help you to secure that uh, nozzle over there and you just use your syringe okay um, another question that I, I get a lot is how um, is when you're going to clean your print head uh, what is a reverse a flush so a reverse flush so basically is instead of you uh, pushing instead of you pushing um, solution to the head you basically are pulling solution through underneath and I'm going to show you so you can you can get a base 
any bowl that you like similar to this one and you can pour a cleaning solution right here okay so i'm going to use this towel just to simulate that it's liquid so this is going to be liquid and you're going to put your print head right there okay and when you insert your let me move my cam a little bit when you insert your tubing into the nozzles what you're going to do is just pull that all the way up not push you're going to pull because it's going to be pulling uh, the, the liquid the uh, cleaning solution underneath the, the head is going to be pulling and you're going to see that it start coming right here it's going to start coming uh, right here and all the way up what is doing the reverse flush is that it's just helping you also to unclog the print head instead of be pushing and pushing and pushing and you know uh, possible blow your head when you do the reverse you're doing it really slow too and that's moving parts inside uh in, inside the, the head and that way you can unclog a, also a head so basically you're going to be pulling and then you can push back again the same liquid over and over pulling and push and that way you're going to be moving all that part of there inside and you're going to be getting a chance to unclog that print head faster but also with a cleaning solution okay so when uh i remember when we start using the lx100 and we have any type of problem with the print heads that we were need to unclog for different customer what we're doing was using and a strong cleaning solution uh hitting that cleaning solution and putting right here in the in the bowl and resting the print head over there leaving the print head a couple of hours to try to clean anything that is right there and then we will uh, continue doing the process of reverse flush and then flushing reverse flush and flushing and that way we could um, recuperate that print head. If it's going to happen always, to be honest, I don't know, because some clocks are really, really hard to, to um, undone. If you left that print head set, you know, that ink set really, really hard over there, and uh, so many weeks has passed, you know, the print head can get damaged and it, it, it is a loss, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I can recommend anyone that is using cleaning solution, try to use the cleaning solution regular. If that, that one doesn't work, go with a stronger solution. Uh, use heat. You know, uh, we, we know that heat can help different stuff. I mean, if, when you got a sticker in some place that you try to peel it off and it's really hard, when you heat it up, you can peel that sticker more easy so here is the same stuff the heat and the solution all of that is going to help with that uh stubborn clog uh, on the print heads um just remember something is really important do not do not wet your electronics if you're going to put in a bowl the liquid just do it um maybe until right here that you know that this print head is getting liquid but not the not the electronics or not this part over here the electronics not this one any part and if you're not sure if that's going to get wet it's better to put some type of tape so you can cover that and you can protect that and this is the only part that is going to get the liquid and you can set that over there some people uh can leave it uh, maybe 12 hours 24 hours depending how bad is the clog on a print head and then proceed with a syringe and do uh, the cleaning process as a flushing and also reverse flushing using a solution 
uh, that they want to use. I mean, I, this is just a parenthesis here. You can use a solution that you like, but that's the way you do a reverse flushing. And it's really, really uh, good and helpful for print heads. Okay, guys, I already explained a lot here about the different uh, cleaning solutions, uh, about the kit, and all of this that you see here, you can find on the website. Uh, regular cleaning solution, uh, strong cleaning solution, and also the cap station solution. Also, you see right here on the back, some inks. This is because all of this is one order for a customer that is going to come to our location and pick up. But I just want to do this video, you know, as an opportunity to explain uh, because we lately have uh, many people asking for uh, the reason of the colors and there you have it. I mean, if I have all this cleaning solution here, the same color, blue, uh, blue, blue, uh, everything was the same color, it was really confusing. So that's why cleaning solution has different colors to try to identify uh, what it is and what it's not, okay? So thank you so much, guys, for being part of this community of the DTF. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. Also, don't forget to go to the Facebook group. We got so many people, wonderful people over there. And I always, guy, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. I see you in the next video, guys. Keep printing.